Good morning, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. So I'm going to show you the brand new Honda HRV. This one here is 1.6 diesel and it is the EX specification, so that's the highest specification available. Um, Brian's my name, if there's any information you'd like on this particular car, please give us a call 045 531000 or mobile uh, direct 086 843 1945. Um, so Honda HRV, um, starting off on the outside, this one is a Morpho Blue uh, metallic colour. Um, as an EX, it has uh, front fog lights along here. Um, after that then we have, and again this car, I'm just getting used to the specification on it. So it's a 17 inch alloy wheel uh, on this particular EX spec. EX is the highest um, specification available. Um, along the front on the headlight, uh, what we have is a daytime running light. It's probably hard to see here at the moment. Um, and actually I might move the car into an area that is a little bit more um, I'll move to an area that's a little bit less lit up because the sun sometimes it's not so good when it comes to trying to do videos so let's just move the car over here for a sec uh electronic park brake we'll come back to that in a sec anyway so um just having a look on the outside of the car um so it's got a nice uh xenon headlight along here um and we've got two diodes that emit from there um, and then we have our uh, double optic style, so the dips are zen on, and over here we have um, a full light function as well. So basically, <coughs> the car's got potentially one, two, three, four uh, lights on either side along the front. Um, front park assist is standard on the EX specification, so along here we have our park sensors at the front. Uh, what's really nice about this colour, and it's probably quite difficult to see at the moment, sorry there's a truck just pulling in here, um, is it's a kind of there's sort of two colors on it uh, so depending on what way the sun it's kind of like got a violet milk tray purple almost kind of effect um on one side but once the light comes onto it it has more of a lighter kind of color so it's quite nice um so it is and it's probably going to be one of the most popular models because it's a pretty new color um we have along the top along here a um chrome roof rail and then after that um there's chrome door handles on the um exterior of the car as well for the front um, just to give it the coupe styling that um, <coughs> I suppose makes uh, this kind of car so stylish as an SUV, uh, the rear door handle is hidden, so it's accessed in through here. Um, in terms of the rear of the car, um, so along here we have our um, reverse camera button just for opening the doors, and then these are a nice bright um, LED which lights up the taillight, so um, it's just a nice kind of classy look um, to the car. Uh, under here we will have um, storage um, which you can put a spare wheel in there as well if you want. Um, the boot I think is quite large so um, at the garage we sell a number of different types of manufacturers but we see a lot of uh, Nissan Qashqai's and uh, Hyundai X35's coming through. Um, I think that's quite a big boot and some people have talked about this car being a similar size to the likes of Nissan Duke and Renault Captur and stuff like that. I think it's a lot bigger uh, once you actually look at them. It's, uh, I think significantly bigger, uh, especially in around the boot area for start. Tinted rear glass comes on an EX. Um, so after that on the inside, it's got a magic seat set up. Uh, as an EX, it's got a full leather. Um, so just looking along here, seats um, means you can put uh, very high objects in terms of the back. And then we can fold that forward and that drops down here. This particular car was just down at the plowing championship so this in case you're wondering why there's some stuff knocking around inside it uh, that's why it's there but you get a nice flat section along there as well then so um it's quite useful and let's drop that back in okay um armrest in terms of the back right let's just be really pragmatic about it and if i was to sit in the front so i'm about six foot if i sit in the front i would not sit that far back this is how i would normally sit in a car my hands are just over the steering wheel like that, so that kind of makes sense. So let's have a look in the back to see how I get on sitting in the back. Um, Alright, so I'm going to sit in the back of the car quite comfortably. Actually, I've got loads of space. Uh, absolutely tons. So along here, I'm really, really comfortable. Sorry about the dark camera work. Uh, wow, actually, that's more space than I thought I'm going to have. So uh, headroom's quite good. So over here, one thing to bear in mind, this is an EX, so it's got a panoramic roof. The roof line's a little bit lower back here um, because of that. So I think in some of the other specifications, they're going to have even more headroom. Um, we've got some nice looking lights. Oh yeah, look at the LED. 
that's really nice actually so we got led lights and then there's just a little blue guide light along here at night time which lights up the area but in a subtle kind of manner um, uh, the materials used in the car are really nice so again there's a nice leather feel along here and along the door cards as well so it's high quality um chrome surrounds around there okay like they're they're practical but they look nice or they're, they don't make a massive practical difference but they do um aesthetically look very nice uh, kangaroo pockets in both sides here as well so um a small bit of storage down in the back for a drinks holder but um size wise i think you'd be quite impressed with that okay some people are going to ask us about three child seats across the back uh you got two isofix points so isofix here isofix here and three three point safety belts um middle safety belt is up here Sorry about the really bad camera up now, it's just trying to do it one handed, it doesn't work so well. So three point safety belt all the way across. So three passengers are going to go in the centre. Um, purely from curiosity, if I sit into the car. Um, okay, so I'm sitting in the centre section here at the moment. Uh, there's no big tunnel underneath me, so my headrooms, or my legroom's quite good. Uh, headroom here at the back, as the EX model, as a six foot person, okay, you're going to have a bit of a headroom issue along here. But having said that, um, how many people are going to have you know five adults in the back of the car it's usually going to be uh, child related looking along here i'm sitting in the middle so there's still going to be enough space for just to tuck my jacket out of the way there's still a full seat there and still a full seat here as well so that means i think that three kids um of you know i suppose teens um early teens that kind of thing absolutely no problem whatsoever um cabin's lovely so along here you got the nice piano black finish along through the center uh stop auto stop start is just um controlled from here so like with a lot of modern cars um these days they'll have an auto stop start as you approach traffic light release the uh, clutch um keep it from the brake <coughs> the um, engine revolution stop as just so you're not using any fuel um okay in the center we got a large holder along here so armrest first of all and then drinks holder and stuff like that as well um, we have a automatic parking brake so it's the first time i've seen it on the honda but we do other manufacturers uh, at the garage and there's it's been out for years on a lot of cars as well and it's quite easy to use but it just essentially means that if you have door closed and safety belts on all right um, that means then the handbrake's on at the moment i'm just going to drive away give it a bit of throttle yeah it automatically releases Let's see, does it automatically kick in though when I turn off the car? No, okay, so like most manufacturers, it's engaged along here. Two things happen, you hear a noise in the back for the handbrake, second thing is the light comes on along here, and third thing is actually you feel the brake pedal. Uh, as an EX, we have a start stop function, so press the button here. So, nothing happening on the dash until I hit that button. Clock's going to a sweep. Um, and then after that, um, so storage, storage, USB connectors, HDMI. Um, I'm just trying to see here, yeah, okay, two USB connectors, HDMI, and then 12 volt um, out along here. Up through the center, we have the Honda Connect, which I have other videos, I can send you that if you like. But uh, just back into the home screen, um, touch and swipe uh, functions down through there. Um, but a basic overview generally is, and one good thing with this actually, this system was on the Civic and CRV, now, on this it's actually allowing you to upgrade to nav uh, so on Civic and CRV if you've got a model that doesn't come standard with nav from the factory you can't do it uh, whereas with this this is actually built integrated made for the car specifically so you have a nav option as well audio which is going to bring into your radio function sorry I'm just going to close this here for a sec which is the roof actually while that's happening so the roof you can close over with a nice big cover so it feels then like you don't have a sunroof at all uh, sorry, I know this video is dragging out, so fair play to anyone that's managed to last this long. But uh, trying to keep the glare off it. Okay, so you have your usual audio menu and where do you want music to come from and all that kind of stuff. Back through there, um, back again, and we're into the phone menu, which is things like Bluetooth, uh, phone book. You know, again, I do have a separate video for that, so I can send you that. But it's got everything that you'd expect uh, in terms of using your phone without having to uh, detract from what you're doing driving-wise. Nav, we're into Garmin. Garmin gives you four years of updates for free as well which is pretty cool um but you know it's 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 pretty much as as up to date as you're going to get um back out of that uh, trip information and the cool thing about honda connect is we got an android setup browser so we can go in and we can surf the net if we uh basically um have our phone what's called tethered which is basically where you have the phone plugged into 
the USB connector down there. What it will do is it'll draw your uh, data. So it's going to, it's like surfing on your phone, it's going to use the same charge, but it's not going to charge anymore. Uh, or if you had a dongle that some people use, some people that bought CRVs offices here, they've used dongles, which is like 20, 30 quid a month, and it's got unlimited, you know, data. So that's probably a right way to do it. Uh, anyway, no internet connection available at the moment, so it's not going to show us anything. Um, so that's a, a really general overview. Um, this is reverse camera. So reverse along here, camera comes in through here. One thing over there that's cool as well, which a lot of Hondas have, auto dip on the mirror. So I go for reverse and that happens. Just if you have one and you're wondering why yours doesn't do it, just always make sure that that's turned to the left. Once it's turned to the left, it'll do it. Um, lane change assist. So if you were driving along and you drift out of lanes, it'll basically make noise to warn you that you've drifted out of a lane. Uh, park assist along here for front and rear park sensors. This is just to turn the alarm off if you have someone left in the car. Um, okay, in through here, average speed, miles per gallon, all that kind of information, your trip information. Um, uh, speed zone. So it's going to warn you of the last speed uh, zone that you've been in, which is pretty, pretty good. This 1.6 diesel engine, haven't driven on the road in this car yet. Uh, I'm going to down in a minute. But it's uh, generally in Civics all day long, 60 plus miles per gallon in CRVs, um, which are a bigger, heavier car than this, um, 60 miles per gallon all day long. And these are real world normal people. That's what people get out of them. We see them every day coming in for service. So. Um, but there is potential for higher, so they're, they're extremely good. I would imagine this is going to be mid 60s quite easily. I know the, the distributor might call it a little bit higher, but I think that's a realistic um, number, uh, which in this size of car is, compared to what else is on the market, it's quite good. Heated seats uh, down along through there. Um, and then the cool thing about this as well, it's got, um, I'm just going to go back into audio uh, for a sec. FM, yeah, and the volume appears up then, and you can kind of, you can do it like that, or you can swipe your finger as well up and down, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, the reason I'm saying that to you is, you do the same over here, so swipe upwards to go to the middle, or up high, or then we just tap it like that, so middle, um, we we'll swipe all the way up, uh, to get to the higher low point. Same on this side as well, uh, it's quite nice, it's, it's, it's pretty classy looking actually. Uh, front windscreen demister, rear windscreen demister, these aren't buttons, you just uh, glide over them and they, they engage. Um, sync just so we can have different temperatures on each side, on or off, and then we have the auto function and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh yeah, just with the park and brake, one last thing. With the park and brake, it basically means that if you're on a hill and you have the auto hold left on it, what will actually happen is you will be able to, I'm just going to release this here for a second so you can find a hill, um, because what happens is, say for example, eh, it's kind of flat where I am at the moment. What would happen is, yeah, okay. Um, you got an auto hold function here. Uh, so we got a brake hold uh, display. What's just happened, by the way, is I've taken my foot off the clutch and the car's gone into auto stop start. Put my foot in the clutch, starts straight back up. Auto hold means you can drive forward, then you put your foot on the brake. Auto hold now has engaged and the car will not roll backwards. So I go to drive up the hill again, it automatically releases, put my foot in the brake, it engages again, and the car is not rolling backwards until I accelerate and go again. Anyway, I suppose what it does, it just takes the anxiety out of not having a manual handbrake that you can lift, um, which is very important to some people. So that is the EXHRV. Uh, Brian's my name. Uh, Fitzpatrick's is the garage in Kildare that uh, we're from. Um, so if there's information you'd like in the car, test drive, um, pricing, all that kind of stuff, please do give us a call. Uh, 045 531 000 or 086 843 and our website is at www.hondacenter.ie um, so appreciate your time if you've actually stuck the whole thing watching out the video and if this kind of car is of interest if you're in Ireland uh, please do give us a call again I've missed out on some stuff here that's a general overview so um, thanks for taking time to watch